God alone will calm the sea like a ship upon the ocean, the mighty ocean. Oh God alone, oh God alone. Good morning, my friends in Christ. I hope you are doing well today. It's so good to be here, and the air is a little cooler. There is that fuchsia by 4 o'clock. Isn't that pretty? And the red one, just as pretty as can be, just came from seed. Very easy to grow. And here is the little garden of Chinese forget-me-nots, the black-eyed Susan, the yellow marigold, the red to get uh, four o'clock over here and some orange cosmos and a little blue sage and another little red four o'clock coming along and there is my millet and it's doing good i haven't seen a bird on it though sorry let me put this back down the verse of the day is from Matthew 8, 23, 27. When he got in the boat, his disciples followed him. Behold, a violent storm came up on the sea, so much that the boat was covered with the waves. But he was asleep. The disciples came to him and woke him up, saying, Save us, Lord, we are dying. He said to them, why are you fearful, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the wind and the sea, and there was great calm. The men marveled, saying, What kind of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? And I have studied a little bit on this verse, and I think that um, Jesus wasn't upset that they woke him up, but maybe he was upset that they didn't have enough faith that he was with them and they would be okay. And here is a little purple, little bitty purple flower. And they have to be watered today, that's for sure. Uh, I watered them the other day, but look at this. They are wilty and I had other plans to weed since it's cooler, but if I'm going to save these, I need to water them. I have another verse, and this goes oh, back on the other one. The men marveled, I'm saying, what kind of man is this, that even the wind and sea obey him? It seems that you can, in this verse, you can put together Jesus' miracles and his humanness. He was asleep, he was tired, so it shows his humanness, and he can even calm the sea. So we serve a mighty master. And the other verse is from Psalm 91. And this, Psalm 91 is considered the Psalm of Protection. And the soldiers used to write these Psalms down on cards and take them with them for protection. And I've picked I've chosen two, but I suggest you all read them all, for they will touch the heart. 91, Psalm 91, 1, excuse me, 91, 2. I will say of Yahweh, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And I will add in all the storms. And Psalm 91, 11, for He will put His angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. He will put his angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. So, let's rejoice at the love that Jesus has for us. That God, God sent his son. He died for us to take our sins away. That we should be made whole in him. Seek your blessings enjoy them thank god for them amen in jesus christ love you guys